Hey guys, welcome to On Fire Roblox Scripting. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a pressure plate door. So this right here is a pressure plate door that I've already made for you guys. It's kind of simple and you can always improve it yourself. Um, if you don't know how to make something like this, then uh, I'll put a link into the model if you want like the model of this. But if you can make something better than it, then go for it. Um, but before we start, make sure you have Explore and Properties open, because you obviously need that. They are under the View tab. And yeah, it's going to be in this folder. Well, I'm just going to put these three things in the folder too. So uh, when you get the model, it's just going to be this folder, and that is completely A-OK. -okay. And the main part is the this first sensor. And this is uh, Sensor 2, which I'm going to name Sensor 2 just made it it's a bit sloppy and this is door one door two and then there's this floor you don't have to add this but I just did it and then sensor three and then sensor four right here yeah this is what it looks like and this video all we're gonna be doing is just a scripting part so if you can uh, go to sensor one and under sensor one add in a script and now we can start scripting. So local sensor one equals to script dot parent local sensor two equals to script dot parent dot parent dot sensor two local sensor three equals to script dot parent dot parent dot sensor three local sensor four equals to script dot parent dot parent dot sensor four local door one equals to script dot parent dot parent dot door one and then local door two equals to script dot parent dot parent dot door two. I'll leave these variables in the description and the pinned comment since writing variables is kind of boring. Now let's get into the actual scripting part. So I'll go down two lines. So first what we're gonna code is if you touch sensor three then this door will open and uh, it will turn into this. So right here. So sensor, sensor three dot touched colon connect function and then go down a line and then it's going to be door one dot transparency equals to one so now it's invisible door one dot and then it's going to be can collide equals to false so now I can just walk through it we're going to do the same thing for door two. Oh, uh, messed up the variables make sure it's just a regular door not a capital O. So door two, what do you mean? I can't find it. Yeah, okay. Door two dot. I need to rewrite it. Door two dot transparency equals to uh, zero. So now it's uh, you can see it. And then door two dot can collide equals to true so now you can walk into it and this is uh, when you touch sensor 3 and okay, now what we're gonna do is whenever you touch uh, this sensor so sensor 4 it will open uh, door 1 and door 2 which is basically the same thing so you can just copy it and paste it 
to turn it into sensor 4 because what they're doing is basically the same thing okay now if you go over here this is sensor 1 now what we're going to do is as soon as you touch sensor 1 it will close the door so over here sensor 1 dot touched colon connect function and remove a bracket and you go down the line so first we're going to close the doors so door 1 dot transparency equals to 0 so now you can see it door 1 dot can collide equals to true so now you can walk with it door 2 dot transparency equals to 1 so now you can't see it door 2 dot can collide equals to false just like that and this is for sensor 1 it's and then now we're gonna code sensor 2 over here but what it does is also the exact same thing so you can just copy this code and then paste it here and then change this to sensor 2 so this should be the code pretty simple and let's go test it out so I just loaded in oh uh, I should probably add a spawn point right here this is our door um, so if we touch this obviously nothing happens but as soon as we touch the pressure plate and now we can walk through it and as soon as we touch this sensor the door closes again so we're gonna touch it and then there you go the door closes again so as you can see it works pretty well it does sometimes glitch but that's not too much and if you think like the pressure plates too small you can always make it bigger so now what I'm gonna do is just uh, make it like a little room so you guys can see how it would work if you're gonna put it into a house so I'm gonna stop it and now I'm gonna time-lapse me making the room and time-lapse And time lapse done. I didn't add any color, but yeah, this is basically the room. And now I'm going to show you what it looks like if you have like a little room with it. So I'm gonna press play. Okay, so I just loaded in. Oh, the house is on the other side. And over here, so if I press this, nothing happens. As soon as I press this, the door opens and welcomes me home. If something like that happens, you could just fix it by moving it out a little bit. But yeah, let's move in. Since I touch here, the door closes. And then I touch it again, the door opens, and I go back out. And yep, and this is how you make a pressure plate door. And that'll be it for this tutorial. If you guys liked it, uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!